Welcome to Knock Row Nation. Welcome back guys, Drill here. And I am Josh, and today we're here to discuss some recent spinoff news for The Walking Dead. Yeah, so The Walking Dead spinoff, some news came out during San Diego Comic Con. Scott Gimple gave some insight as to what is going to be going on in this uh, spinoff, and a couple new characters have joined the cast. So we're just going to give you guys a little rundown on that if you haven't heard about it already. So um, it's very exciting news, actually. Yeah, as you know, this series is going to be based on children that have grown up with the apocalypse already occurring. So a prime example of that is Judith or um, an RJ, for example. Mm -hmm. um, so we've already gotten a couple announcements of a couple of, of well, I wouldn't really say they're kids, um, because I think one um, of them is like in their... Uh, like teen, like late teens, right? Yeah, I can't remember how old the three are, but I mean they're essential kids, but maybe one or two or a little bit, maybe in their teens or yeah. so. Yeah, but so, we're here to give you some more news coming from um, what San Diego or just Scott straight, Gimple, straight out yeah, of Scott, Scott Gimple's, Gimple's mouth, from San Diego, which yeah. straight from his mouth. Who, who knows? Yeah. <laughs> so um, as you guys know, it is going to be a ten episode series, and from what we know so far, from what Scott Gimple said, he says that this series it's going to be completely different from the other two shows we're trying to open these worlds of the walking dead to show different corners different tones different aspects hopefully they complement one another which makes sense you don't want to keep piggybacking off the main show you yeah. kind of have to branch out a little bit and not just like how fear the walking dead is not have it all about the main show yeah it, it's kind of like a a, a a world creating series, you know, like for example, Game of Thrones or Lord of the Rings. There's this world that was created by the author and there's different areas of the world, but it's all tied in the same timeline and, mm -hmm. and, and well, Game of Thrones, multiple timelines, but there's a history of this world. It's a lot easier to do when you already have that world that already existed at one point mm -hmm. in the United States. Earth, right. you know, <laughs> but yes, right. they want to keep this new series tied in, whether it's the same timeline or the same apocalyptic event. Right. Yeah. And there's uh, Scott Gimple did say that there's a big secret about the Walking Dead universe. He goes on and says, all these years, we've just seen a tiny sliver of the Walking Dead world. There's a whole lot of world out there. The big secret is that all along... There have been other civilizations that survived the apocalypse. We saw hints of that in Season 7 of The Walking Dead and again in The End of Everything. And now we're about to show a lot more of the world in a bunch of different projects. So kind of hinting at this may not be just the start. Different projects, there's going to be other things going on. Because it's such a big world, other civilizations have survived. We've only been dealing with one part of the country. Yeah, so, uh, one example of that and statement one part of the there world, is me. the recent book that's going to be released in October. Some people have gotten it already from San Diego Comic Con, but uh, Walking, Walking Dead, Dead Typhoon, Typhoon yeah. um, is a prime example of that. You know what happened in China. I mean, when we first ran into this series, it was in what Virginia, mm -hmm. um, and then yep. we got Fear the Walking Dead, which give us gave us a representation of what it was like in. California, California, the West Coast. Mexico, yeah. and a little bit further south. Uh, yeah. So this is just kind of broadening that scope yeah. of, of this specific apocalyptic event. Yeah, it's really cool. And he, uh, he finishes by saying, these kids can grow up in a place of comfort, or these kids can grow up in a place of comfort and security, but they leave everything on a dangerous quest and are being pursued by adults on their own. We'll see kids become heroes and some become villains we're going to open up a whole new world of The Walking Dead. Now, that's so, interesting. I like the cool. villain part of it because we've always seen our our heroes and then we run into a villain every once in a while in each season or a couple seasons. But here, right. we're going to see the birth of a possible villain. So, right. love that aspect a, of it. A young kid turning into a... Uh, a villain, yep. possibly. Yep. So, um, so we do have some casting news. Hollywood Reporter also confirmed that uh, we are getting a director. So it's going to be directed by the Kong Skull Islands Jordan Vogt Roberts. Hope I pronounced that <laughs> uh, there. So uh, I never saw Kong, uh, Kong Skull Island. No, I did not either. Yeah. But uh, you know, I, I I wouldn't even be able to voice an opinion on that because I haven't yeah. even heard if it's good or not. Yeah. So. Very exciting. Got a director. But we have two new cast members, uh, Aaliyah Royale, who's playing a character named Iris, and Annette Mahendru, playing a character named Huck. So, you know, so early on, we don't know 
we got a little glimpse as to what this is going to be about. Yeah, I think right now, we're, you know, aside from these little announcements, casting news and production news, I don't think we're going to get too much on this. I mean, we know the premise of it. Um, but other than that, um, yeah. do we even have a general time frame? 2020, I think I've heard? 2020, I think, yeah. yeah. But it's just, we have so little details as to, I mean, we got a glimpse of what the show is going to be about, giving an idea of these kids have lived in somewhat safe security for a while and now they're going to be dealing with going on quests and dealing with other adults walkers and everything like that yeah. and it's, it, it's going to be interesting to see it's going to be very interesting to see you know how many walkers are there like we've discussed this before like Where this is at? an assumption of the series taking place after the apocalypse has already started how far along we don't really know um, because again these children could be born shortly after the apocalypse started um, yeah, but assuming that they're 13 years old, that's 13 years into the apocalypse mm -hmm. and, you know, safe zones will have, will right. have established, yeah. um, what we think, um, and communities will have established. So it'd be interesting to see how many walkers are there really. Yeah. And also to find out the name of what they're going to call yeah. the dead. So I'm super excited for the walking dead typhoon because I want to know what, people are calling the dead over there yeah with all these new names we've been getting I'm just, it's just fascinating it's endless summer. yeah it's endless yeah. But like what else could you call them but uh yeah we just wanted to give you guys this quick news of the walking dead spinoff series we are super excited for more details to come out stay tuned to the channel because we will give you guys give you guys those details but um yeah it's it, there's so many ideas that it could be swelling that i'm kind of thinking of where they could go with it but We'll, we'll save that for another video of how we maybe think that they could maybe structure it or yeah. how things could go. Heroes, villains, definitely. A lot more content coming, guys, on the new spinoff for The Walking Dead. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Hit that bell so you're always notified of when we upload new content. Follow us at Knock Nation on Facebook and Twitter. I'm Josh. I'm Jarrell. We're Knock Nation. Nation. We're out. out.